Hello guys, Tuesday afternoon, would you believe it's about 85 degrees. As you know, we have not had any summer at all in the UK, but the forecast over the next 12 days is in the mid 80s. So get out before this hot spell ends and come to three places I'm going to show you. This is Brindley Place and enjoy the last days of the summer. So yes, forecast the next eight days out of 12 mid 80s and this is the glorious Brindley place you can sit under there look in the shade in a deck chair you can swim in the fountain have a coffee at Costa have a meal over there play table tennis down there <laughs> and just enjoy the atmosphere and the ambience here so I'm going to take you, it's just off Brindley, uh, Brindley Place is just off Broad Street, all within five minutes walk, these three places I'm going to show you today. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, get out, don't worry about anything or doing the ironing or washing or whatever, get out and enjoy yourself, because this is very unusual for us to get such hot weather in September and of course probably going to have more sunny days in the next two weeks than we've had the whole summer so don't waste it guys get over here if you live anywhere near Birmingham just off Broad Street guys As I said, they're all within five minutes walk. So I'm now going to take you over to Centenary Square, which had about a thousand people there yesterday. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, it's evening now, as I promised you out in the evening film the fountains the three fountains isn't that beautiful there at night let's get over to the first one Brindley Place and you can tell me if you prefer the night time to the daytime isn't that beautiful they got wonderful projector system here which I've not seen on for three years two or three years if you have a look at my Christmas carol singing video you will see it's all lit up in blue and different colors but as I said it's two or three years they've never switched it on for any occasion a bit different from today isn't it guys so what do you think Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I know which one I prefer. But you tell me. Let's just walk through the centre at night.
Okay, over to fountain number two. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, just 30 seconds walk and here we are. I thought I'd show you how spectacular it is by the canals today. Isn't this beautiful? Wonderful flowers on this bridge and just over there at the end is Broad Street and Black Sabbath Bridge. Come and hire one of those boats guys and uh, I think as eight of you it works out about nine or ten pounds each. So it's a good deal. And look how beautiful these flowers are here. I haven't got my gimbal guys because I didn't intend to do this but I thought by just telling my viewers if you live anywhere near Birmingham guys you deserve a break after this shocking summer. Even Dawn even though she had a month away but she deserved it and my friends in Canada as I said it's five minutes walk from Broad Street straight into Brindley Place and 30 seconds we have arrived here. Another two minutes we will get to Centenary Square and then another one minute and we, we will get to Paradise but obviously we cannot go to Victoria Square guys because as you know <laughs> it's a building site but fingers crossed I would say about six weeks time it will be opening six or seven weeks for the German Christmas market and Fluzi will be open. So here we are guys, we're going to show you the canal at night as opposed to the canal in the daytime. We'll try to put them next to each other in the video when I get home and post tonight. It's 8.25 now. Suddenly it got dark within minutes. Malt House here. And as you know, we saw this today, didn't we guys? And we looked down there at the bridge and the Black Sabbath Bridge and Broad Street down there. And then we did a little walk backwards along here. So I'll try to put them in together and hopefully the transitions will be smooth enough. Need to get over to the fountain in front of the library Centenary Square because I think it goes off at nine o'clock. See you there guys, two minutes. So we're nearly at Centenary Square, we're in Broad Street guys. I remember six years ago when I first walked up here, just over, it was a very polluted, noisy, horrendous road, but now clean air zone, trams, stunningly um, beautiful in comparison, and so quiet and um, obviously very busy Friday and Saturday night. But look at this, I came in the daytime several times, six, just over six years ago, and it was horrendous. We won't mention it falling to pieces but um, they will probably rectify that sometime. When I take you in 30 seconds around the corner to Centenary Square, you won't believe how many people are there. There you are guys, same view. Broad Street at night now. If you remember the day view, I will put this again next to the day piece. And then we will get along just up there around the corner, Centenary Square. So here we are, guys. Look at this, Centenary Square. Unbelievable. People are having a wonderful time, families, children. Remember, they were denied this. Sorry to bring it up again. Do you remember last year they mothballed this for nine months because they had a little bit of maintenance work? Don't ever do it again, Birmingham City Council. Denying people this, we are watching you. 
pack a lunch. Families come from all outside Birmingham, probably from quite a long way, some of them. Kids have their swimming trunks on, have a wonderful time. Mothers can sit over there. Many, many areas to sit and uh, relax, or you can go to the rep and have a, a drink in there, reasonably priced. You have a bar here at the Symphony Hall. It looks even better at night here, although it's obviously a lot quieter. <laughs> the library there. Isn't it beautiful here? But yes. Come along here before the end of the summer, guys, and make the most of it. You certainly enjoy it. But as I said, when you think of what we had to put up with last year, and people were, you know, we had almost three years of COVID, and they mothballed this for nine months. This time last year, this was all closed because of a little bit of maintenance work. But we sorted it out, guys, didn't we? And we are watching you. But now, it's absolutely wonderful. People are having a great time. It doesn't cost them anything. And it warms my heart to see people having such a wonderful time. It's just beautiful to see. I always want to go in myself. I should have brought my swimming trunks, my bathing costume. Really beautiful, isn't it? Got to be very careful how I walk, guys. As I said, I didn't bring the gimbal and I do not like shaky video. There aren't any holes around here at the moment, so that's wonderful. This will be in 4K. And just behind the building up there is Paradise, so the third fountain in the city centre, which you must get to before the end of summer. But as you know, just across from Paradise, we cannot show you Victoria Square because it's a fountain. Because it's a fountain here, <laughs> it's a building site. Okay guys, I'm here at 8.30 and it's already switched off. It's only been dark 10, 15 minutes, so they probably switched it off at 8 o'clock, so we're never going to catch it. I was going to walk through for you. It's spectacular, but you saw it in the daytime, but it looks stunningly beautiful at night. But uh, sorry about that, but you'll just have to visualise today's view and tonight's view. Very busy out tonight, guys. Oh, the bat just flown over. Very busy for Tuesday night. All the bars are full up. Library, Rep Theatre, Symphony Hall, ICC. Isn't it beautiful, guys? So which one do you prefer? The day on the night view? And my apologies again, but I can't do anything about it. And judging by the news we had today, guys, which I'm sure you if you live in Birmingham, you have all heard. I'm not going to dwell on that. I want this to be a happy video. But they uh, will probably switch this fountain off. And I assume Floozy forever, <laughs> for a long time. They cannot switch off Brindley Place because it's privately owned. And they cannot switch off the other fountain in paradise because again it's owned by the same people who own Brindley Place but possibly to make savings we might see the last of the dancing fountain and the other fountain Flusy. I hope Flusy is back on just for the Christmas period let's keep our fingers crossed guys but it is beautiful here isn't it Stunningly, let me just take you back again. Still a magnificent city. And we will now see you in about one minute at Paradise. Hello guys. 
I'll be glad when this is um, knocked down. It's a bit of an eyesore. I showed you photos recently of the new hotel and the new location. And I thought we would get up close and personal. Yes, here it is. I haven't been around this way for quite a while. Octagon, 370 rental apartments. I booked mine on the 23rd floor. I'll be able to afford to stay there for a week. <laughs> Looking good though. Isn't it amazing how quickly they can do it? It's almost halfway. And then they build off the centre part. An engineer would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then they put the facade so it, they can do it so quickly. It looks amazing, doesn't it? This is where we are. Sorry, we get uh, diverted, as you know, and I always digress. So I might film the live, not live, I might film the fountains at night and then put them in immediately after the day fountain. Not sure. So my comments might uh, be all over the place, but um, <laughs> ignore them like you normally do. <laughs> I love it. I love the design. Looking good, guys. You're in paradise. Yes, guys, as I said the other day, all the scaffolding's gone all over there, all over here, down there, turn right. Looks much better. Victoria Square, floozy, can't show you that. Six or seven weeks, guys, they start getting the carousel in there and everything else approximately and they will once they open the market German Christmas market they will open and switch on Fluzy which will be wonderful It'll be the first time in almost a year and this is still working as I said the other day it broke down but not two or three weeks they did it within a couple of days well done and as you know over there 12 story office block and the new hotel which I've shown you a photograph of looking good obviously everyone is here at the moment because of Victoria Square being closed and yes I'm going to ask James what do you think this restaurant's going to be James it's beautiful inside they won't have to gut it I mean they might change a few things this should be a very sought-after area I would think it will be snapped up and no doubt James will know and let me know wonderful location as I said I can't imagine it staying empty for very long and then November our coffee bar there Yorks as you know and then further along well I've given the information of everything else so it's going to look absolutely wonderful here isn't it guys it's a beautiful place to be isn't it Birmingham City lots happening lots going on Just thought I'd do a little bit of spontaneous filming and show you. Get over here, guys. You've got a tiny bit of summer left, maybe a couple of weeks, and that's it for six to seven months. Probably rain and wind. You know what it's like. So, you haven't had a summer in the UK. So, get over here. The three fountains just off Broad Street, they are all within five minutes' walk of each other. and enjoy yourself come along and enjoy the sound of water
Okay guys, last fountain. Do you like it? See the lights on there, on the rails. They're usually on all over there, but for some reason they're not. It's pretty, isn't it? So which one do you prefer, guys, day or night? Put it on wide, not ultra wide, then you get more light in the camera. So warm, guys, you wouldn't believe it. It's just suddenly summer, and the restaurants up there are full up outside on a Tuesday evening. I've never seen anyone in there, and it's um, the restaurant is full up inside and outside. That's it, I wanted to, to compare all three fountains with a day view and a night view. Obviously, I'm not responsible for the one in Centenu Square. It's never on. It's been on. It's just um, I wanted a view at night and it looks as if they switch it off about 8 o'clock now. It's still light then, so it's pointless coming out for you. going to go home edit this put it all together and post it for you tonight in 4k and i will see you soon take care bye bye